Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. As you can see by based off the title, the M4 has gotten wider. The Pro M4 has gotten a kit, an overfitter kit put on it. As you can see, it's a temporary kit fit. It's not painted or anything like that. But this thing is so much wider now. Big thank you to the man that hooks me up with this kit. Uh, she's a wide girl now in the back, as you can see. And all over this car is much wider in turn we increased our track width by a substantial amount which is going to add a decent amount of grip to the car so we're going to be going to full testing a little bit more with this wider stance let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below. like I said this thing uh, it's wide now it is really wide really aggressive now so we're going to go full set make sure you follow me on all social media all the description box below let's get to it We are here at VDC Road Atlanta 2021 layout. So definitely been having a lot of fun with this M4. I know this week has been all about the M4, but the build process is getting intense. And as you can see now, we have a much wider car. We've done some changing in the interior a little bit from last time. Uh, we've uh, put in, you can't see it because the driver's arm's in the way. There's a Link ECU in there. And we've gotten rid of some of the little bits in the dashboard that we don't really need. Or inside the car that we don't really need. So, full send. Road Atlanta. T we'll take a look at the box cam version of this too. So, we to see what ratio we're set at. Oh, it's wide. I gotta make sure we don't smack those cones now. Little lollygag entry in. A little bit too much out there. Coming up into the keyhole. Not too bad of a run. Um, entry was a little bit. Eh, definitely has way more grip. Um, so we're gonna have to we're gonna dial some camber out of this car real quick, because yeah, that is definitely much grippier with that wider track on that the wider you know track on there so almost zeroed out in camber in the rear we're gonna try it see what it's like so and like i said we will take a look at the box cam but this car is now much wider way more aggressive and i uh, i can't you know get over how much this car is coming along and it's such a good car already with the new data and everything a little bit better but it's a little hesitant there but oh way up there over the rumbles not the greatest there Open that cone, little rumble touch there. Little rumble touch there. Oh, definitely in the dirt on that one. So we're gonna give it one more full run and see if we can't get that entry down. Then we'll take a look at the outside. And we're probably gonna switch up tracks and go to another fun track that we haven't run this car on yet. So second gear drop in. Very hesitant on the flick. Oh, my my neck effect camera getting all kinds of wonky with that almost backwards entry style. That's shallow on that, but definitely want to see that entry. We can break grab there. Overall, this car is ripped up and feels so good. Let's take a look at the replay of those in box cam because VDC track doesn't have the greatest when it comes to cameras. It's one run, that's probably two runs. Alright. So let's get our box cam turned down. Where are you? Box camera. Activate box cam. And we'll take a look at the first run. Yeah, 
it's definitely a wide car now and definitely need to uh, be very mindful of that going through these stuck chicane that almost touches so that first initial entry we hesitated on entry definitely gonna have to modify the fenders inner I'm noticing I'm clipping into the fenders a little bit so we're gonna have to modify that slightly in the KM5 or adjust our track width a little bit overall not too bad of a run That was a little bit better. Just banging red line going through that. But that final run, this is kind of that backwards style entry one. So let's take a look at this and we'll switch up tracks. Almost an uh, Adam LZ style backwards entry. Yeah, I knew I was shallow there. Yeah, we have to trim out some of those front fenders a little bit because we are uh, clipping through with how wide this thing is. We do have. Oh, knocking the camera. So we do have the uh, factory fenders in there, so we're going to have to cut those out. So we are at Irwindale, and what is actually clipping through is because of how wide it is. I'm actually going through, I think the, oh, we are going through all the fender. So we are going to have to do some modifying or maybe limit the poke in because we are going through that front fender. So we have to do some more data modding. Or uh, change up some... Yeah, we're definitely going through those fenders. Uh, that's going to have to get adjusted. Oh, we're going through that over fender too. All right, so we're going to have to do some tweaking to that. It could just be also how low I have it. So we have to do some tweaking with that. But I think we are going to keep this wide stance. That is just so wide. I like it a lot. So let's go full send here at FD Irwindale. For a run or two to end this episode off. Not sure what gear I'm gonna have to be in. Probably fifth to fourth, maybe. Actually, might be able to run fourth all the way through. So, FD, or though you guys know, is one of my favorite tracks. So, we're gonna go full send. Make sure we don't hit the cones. Kind of riding up that wall. Almost got caught in that transition, trying to reach myself out to that inner, inner wall. Overall, not a bad run. We're gonna only probably get two runs in before we are totally out of tires. But we will take a look at the replay angle of this because. Uh, some definitely some fun runs. Want to see how close I am to that wall? Full send. I'm feeling we're like in the wall. Are so gripped up. It's just kind of on. Oh, I fell off there. It kind of just goes where I point it. I think we're going to try and get one more run on these tires. See how the car feels with uh, tires that are probably gone. We may try running the bank in fifth gear. See if we can't get a little more speed. Oh, I 
I think we're I think we're Dragon Bumper. Oh, there's the wall tap. I was trying to see how close I could get. So I think we're gonna go take a look at those replays and see where we actually were. Take a look at it from the outer camera and see exactly kind of where we are. Take a full look at this amazing car right now. Oh yeah, we're pretty much almost Dragon Bumper. An inner bank, uh, pretty good on that inner bank, too. That was actually a solid run. Go camera nine and take a look at it in camera nine. That squat in that rear end of that car. Oh, yeah, we are really high on the bank. Super aggressive into that inner bank. Yep. So we're going to take a look at the final one from this camera angle. Actually, we'll take a look from 11 because I kind of want to see. Oh, we are actually in the wall. Yep, we're in the wall there. We should be hitting the wall right up right there. So I think that'll do it for this episode here on Aesthetic Corsa. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>